Hey yo, what's going on guys? I hope you are having a great day. Today, we're gonna be installing this beautiful steering wheel on this new BRZ here. Now, I got to drive one of these around the other week and I absolutely love it. It's very sharp, very precise, agile, well planted, yet not too uncomfortable to drive. The steering is much heavier than I was anticipating, which to me is an absolute beautiful thing and not something you would expect from a brand new car. I would put it almost as a spiritual successor to a true Japanese sports car from the 90s. Now, I do have one little issue with the steering and that would be the steering wheel itself. It's so damn skinny. If I put my hands anywhere besides nine and three, my fingernails will dig into my palms and it's not the greatest looking thing either. So today we're gonna be addressing all those issues. Without further ado, let's do it. All right, so first things first, especially in a push to start car like ours, you're gonna wanna make sure your steering wheel center because once you do disconnect the battery, you're not gonna be able to unlock the steering wheel without reconnecting the battery. Now, we wanna disconnect the battery because anytime you're working with an airbag, just in case, we don't want the airbag to go off because I mean, I mean, look at this thing. Ah! This, is, this is a money-making face right here. We, we wanna keep this face safe, all right? So, go ahead and loosen the nut on your negative battery terminal, pull it off, and just make sure it doesn't get the opportunity to touch the post on the battery again. All right, back inside the car now. To make it easier, you're gonna wanna push the steering wheel all the way up and out as much as possible. Then grab a smallish flathead and pop the access covers on either side of the steering wheel. Once you have the access covers off, and I'm gonna try and get the best shot I can possible for you guys, there's gonna be three clips that you're gonna need to push that are holding the airbag in. All right, here we see one of the three clips. I'll make sure to highlight it in the video. And basically, we're just gonna wanna push that thing up and you'll hear part of the steering wheel pop out. And voila, that is one. To get to the two top clips easier, you're gonna wanna lay it down just like I am doing right now so you can actually see what you're doing in there. And as soon as you find them, just give them a push and you should hear a pop and click and you'll be good to go. And now last one. Beautiful. Once you have all your clips popped, you can go ahead and pull the airbag. There's, you're gonna see two little yellow tabs on the positive and negative connector on the airbag. Small flathead again. Go ahead and pry up on those yellow tabs. There's one, there's two. You can pull those off now. There we go. Then you're gonna see one more little connector. Just use two fingers. Gonna wanna squeeze and pull it. And that's your airbag released. And last but not least, you're gonna have the actual 17 mil nut that's holding the steering wheel on. You're gonna wanna loosen it, not take it all the way off, or else you're gonna smack yourself right in the noggin with the steering wheel. Count that as tip number two to save your money-making face. And so here we go. All right, that should be loose enough. Now go ahead and just kind of back and forth, pull it towards yourself. There we go, we're all loose now. Go ahead and get the nut off the rest of the way. All right, and last but not least, you're gonna wanna actually pull the steering wheel off. Now you're gonna have wanna be very, very gentle with the clock spring right here because if you mess it up, that's gonna be somewhere in the neighborhood of a $300 mistake. So what I'm gonna do is just hold the airbag wires with my fingers, make sure they funnel through nice and easy. 
And with my other hand, I'm gonna start pulling the steering wheel off. Ah, Picasso, beautiful. All right, now to transfer everything over to our new wheel. Okay, now we have our stock steering wheel out. We're gonna wanna transfer over our cruise control stock, our steering wheel weight, and obviously the face and the buttons, as well as the back plastic cover as well. Um, luckily, all these bolts are exactly the same size and are completely interchangeable with each other, so that makes things quite a bit easier. Grab a bigger Phillips and get to screwing. All right, I got all my bolts out, pulled the steering wheel weight out. Now let's move to the back cover. Here, you're just gonna kinda wanna squeeze and pull. Now that we have our back cover off, it's a lot easier to get all the buttons off in one piece. Simply turn it back over and you're gonna want to push these pins that are holding it attached to the steering wheel. Mine are almost out. If anything, grab a screwdriver and just push them all the way through. And voila, that's everything taken off the steer's stock steering wheel. And this is pretty cool wall decoration. Now that we have everything off, I can show you guys the clips in a lot more detail. So basically all you want to do is just push up. The airbag is held in right here. So pushing this clip releases it. And then the other two, same thing. So basically, these two clips, you're gonna wanna do from the driver's side panel, and then this one from the passenger side panel. Speaking of which, you're also gonna want to remove these and transfer them to your new wheel. All right, when it comes to transferring everything back, go ahead and start with your clips. These are also all interchangeable with each other, so it doesn't really matter which one goes where. Got our first one there. Okay, now we can go ahead and put the steering wheel weight on our new wheel. Next, let's get the front cover back in there. Feed your cruise control stock through here. Then just pop the buttons back into place. All right, that's in. Let's bolt our cruise control stock back on. Okie dokie, once that is all secured, flip it over, grab your back cover, fish, I mean really fish your cruise control stock through it. and push it on, hopefully. Voila! <whistles> Things already looking great. Now let's go and put this bad puppy back on the car. All right, time for the stressful part again. You wanna make sure you're putting your steering wheel back exactly at the same angle that you took it out of. I highly recommend locking your steering wheel right around the center and just keeping a point of reference of where exactly the top of your steering wheel was. I locked it pretty much right in the middle with a little bit of room to turn left. So, start fishing your airbag wires through. As always, be very, very delicate with the clock spring. All right, now that those are through, 
You want to make sure you align it with your clock spring as well. Okay, once you have your steering wheel back how you had it, go ahead and grab your nut, screw it back on. If you have a torque wrench handy, I believe it is right around 28 foot pounds, if I'm not wrong. All right. That feels just about how we took it off to me. Now time to grab your airbag and go ahead and connect all your connectors back onto it. We'll start with the little guy. And then these two. And make sure you push the yellow tabs back in because if you don't, your airbag light will illuminate. Then just double check everything's connected. Go ahead and push it back in. All right. Then just got to put your access panels back and reconnect your battery. Make sure no lights are illuminating. All right, time to make sure we didn't break anything. All right, airbag light turned off, which means we're all set. Now this thing is gonna look better and feel better. Oh man. Yeah, this is, this is lovely. All right, well, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, consider giving me a like. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. anywhere besides nine and three my my